Hello gardeners and welcome to Native Plant Channel. Today we're going to be talking about the top native plants to help our native bees. And often when we think of native bees, we're thinking, oh well, bumblebees, but there are so many of them. Each state in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic has hundreds of native bees when discussing how to help our bees. First, we have to understand the difference between generalist bees and specialist bees and that's determined by pollen. So what is the difference? Well, a generalist means that that is a bee that can take pollen from any plant that produces it to feed its babies because the babies use pollen to get their protein when they are young. But a specialist bee, those are the ones we have to really watch out for because that means that their babies can only eat pollen from a specific species of plant. For example, there's a certain bee that can only use the pollen from violets. According to Dr. Doug Tallamy, who has done so much research on this, the Mid-Atlantic states have five key plants that help our specialist bees. And those five plants are willows, asters, goldenrods, blueberries, and evening primrose. Those help 69 different species of specialist bees without which those bees could not live. Willows are really important also in the springtime because they are one of the few plants that will be in bloom as the temperatures are warming up and many of our insects will be looking for nectar and willows help provide that early in the spring. In the Mid-Atlantic, there are nine different bees that specialize on the pollen of blueberries. And what a fantastic plant that we really have to take another look at. It provides nectar for many different insects in early spring, has these attractive flowers, and can be used as a hedge, not to mention the beautiful bright fall color. Wow, take a look at all the bees feasting on this goldenrod. Goldenrod is probably the most important perennial you can have in your garden. And don't worry about it causing allergies. It does not. It is ragweed that blooms at the same time and causes allergies for those that are susceptible. But goldenrod does provide not only um, pollen for specialist bees, 15 of them in the mid-Atlantic area, but also nectar late in the fall for the many insects that are still active when not too many other plants are blooming. A goldenrod is also the larval host plant of a number of caterpillars. So please make sure that you include goldenrod in your garden. In nature, asters can be found growing in the same communities as goldenrod. So they pair up very well together to create a lovely ecological system that provides color in the fall but also provides nectar and pollen for specialist bees. There are 11 different bees that specialize on the pollen of asters. And just look at the fantastic colors that they will add to your garden. See Native Plant Channels Why Every Garden Needs Asters and Goldenrods for more on the many varieties of these plants and how to grow them. Another important plant that you should welcome into your garden to support specialist bees is evening primrose. It supports a number of different species. And friends, it even supports bees that fly at night. Did you know that there was such a thing? So please help out our bees with evening primrose. Our native perennial sunflowers are also keys to helping specialist bees and help many of them. How can a garden go wrong with these beautiful plants? Always sunny, of course, and adaptable to various conditions depending on which species you are using. So there is a species out there for you. Native Plant Channel is here to help gardeners create an ecological landscape that will support many insects and birds, creating fantastic habitat right in your garden. And I understand that gardeners are busy people. So I try and pack as much information uh, into my videos as to help you make informed choices on what plants you're selecting for your garden. By focusing on the plants in this video, I don't want to minimize the importance of having a very diverse garden that includes many plants. 
because there are so many plants out there that can help other specialist bees. Cornell University in New York State publishes an excellent brochure called Creating a Garden for Native Specialist Bees. And in this publication, they list 69 plants in New York State that host a specialist bee. So just think of that um, projected out over our many states. So make your garden buzz. Plant for the generalist bees and you'll be helping all kinds of insects as well. Use those willows, blueberries, goldenrods, asters, perennial sunflower, and evening primrose. Thank you for watching Native Plant Channel. Please look for us on Facebook where you can find much more information as well. Take care and have a great day in the garden. Thank you.